welcome back to BeHookedCrochet.com. I'm your host, Brittany. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to crochet the crocheted curb chain necklace. And for this project, you're going to need one spool of Red Heart Sizzle in the colorway of your choice, a size B or a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook, and I'll be using a size 20 inch curb chain. Now you can use whichever size you want. You can actually do this with a bracelet or you can do a, a tighter necklace. So you're just gonna need any type of curb chain that you want to use. To begin, the first thing you wanna make sure is that your curb chain is completely flat. Now you don't wanna have it twisted in any way because when we start crocheting this together, that's gonna to lock it in the position. So we don't want the, the chains twisted as you see here. So you wanna make sure they're all flat. And you can just straighten them out little by little as you get to it. So just go ahead and grab your thread and make a slip knot. And then you'll grab the first chain and insert your hook into the chain and then place the slip knot on your hook and pull that tight. Okay, and then just bring the hook back through the other side of the chain and then you'll make a chain one so just grab that working yarn and pull through the loop on your hook and that's going to count as a single crochet so we want to have a total of eight single crochets in each one of the curbs we're counting this chain one as one so we're just going to put seven more single crochets around this chain. And so we're gonna do that by inserting our hook into the chain, so just directly under that bar, and then yarn over and pull up your loop, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so that's your second single crochet since we're counting that chain one. Insert the hook into the chain again, and then yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And that's three. Again, just repeat. That's four. Five. Six. Seven and eight. Okay, so when you've got the eight, they've probably slid a little bit to the front of the chain, so you want to kind of slide them over and you want to make sure you grab the next chain in its correct orientation so you don't want it to be twisted. So you want to make sure that's laying flat and we're just going to insert our hook into that next chain and then yarn over and pull up a loop and you want to make sure this single crochet is a little bit tighter because we're bridging the gap between these two chains and so if your tension is too loose then it'll kind of be a little bit floppy on on the edge here in between the two chains so just finish that single crochet and that's going to be our first one for this second chain so we want to make a total of eight and we're just going to proceed as we did before
Okay, once you finish up those eight, again, you're gonna have to make sure they're in the proper position. So I'll just have to scoot them down a little bit. Okay, and so once you get them in place, it should look something like this. Now once you get finished with the project, you will probably have to turn them and get them in the proper orientation, but we can just continue on now. We'll grab the next chain. So I'm making sure again that it's not twisted. And we're going to do this in the same way. We just need to insert our hook into the third chain there and make a single crochet and just repeat that for eight stitches on this chain. Okay, and working on the next chain. And so this is our pattern repeat for this project. As you can see, it's really easy and it actually works up super quick. So you can pretty much make your necklace for the evening out in just 30 minutes before you leave. So it's really just that simple. We'll go ahead and make eight single crochets around every one of our chains. So your a number of chains may vary a little bit from mine. I'm using a 20 inch curb chain, so this will be a necklace, but you can also work this with a bracelet or a, a smaller necklace or even a longer one if you wish. So what I need for you to do is just continue until you have reached the end of your curb chain and then we'll come back and we'll learn how to bind off and finish up our project. Okay, so once you've reached the end of your chain, you should have something that looks like this. So you've just got your single crochets around each one of your chains. And once you've reached the end, then we can go ahead and bind off. So you just want to leave yourself a few inches so that you can weave this in. And then we're just going to pull the tail that we just cut through the loop on our hook. So we want to pull that nice and tight. And I like to use a tapestry needle rather than a darning needle when I'm weaving in on curb chains. And that's just because it's a little bit difficult to get underneath, especially if you're a tight crocheter, to get underneath these loops where we actually need to weave it in. And a darning needle with the blunt edge, especially if you have the bigger ones, are really tricky to get under there. So I find it's just a little bit easier to use a tapestry needle. Once you have your needle threaded with the, the tail in, you just want to go in underneath all of the single crochet stitches on this the very last chain. So you may just have to work it a few at a time. So pull that through. Okay, and then what you want to do is just skip a loop. So we're going to be working it back in the opposite direction. And so you don't want to put it directly through the same stitches because you'll just work yourself back out. So you just want to skip one of those loops and then work it back. And then you'll go in the opposite direction again. And again, you'll skip a loop. And so I like to do this at least three times because this is going to get some, some wear. So you want to make sure that this doesn't 
work itself back out. Okay, so once you've got it through about three times, then we can go ahead and just trim off the extra. Okay, and then we can just do the same thing on the other side. Once you've woven in both of your ends, then you can pretty much call this project complete. So with that, we'll conclude this tutorial on how to crochet the crocheted curb chain necklace. On behalf of BeHookedCrochet.com and a big thanks to our sponsor Red Heart for providing us with today's sizzle yarn in the colorway Fiesta Mix. Please stay tuned for more free patterns and video tutorials at BeHookedCrochet.com.